Okay, what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're here for Undead Unluck episode 21. So, uh, last episode, we met Ana Un and uh, found out that Andy and Fuko would not have a great time fighting Autumn if they don't level up first. And to do that, we're gonna have to take a look into Andy's past, uh, which I'm assuming is gonna be a majority of this episode, if not for all the recaps and everything such as that. So, I don't really have much else to say going into this. Uh, the last two episodes have been very interesting, to say the least. Uh, the recaps have kind of killed the hype for me, uh, but I mean, the episodes were enjoyable despite that in their own way. So uh, yeah, we will we will get to see if uh, if Andy and Fuko are gonna level up here by taking a look in Andy's biography as uh, Ana Un slashed Andy with uh, with one of the Autumn's claws and uh, he turned into a bunch of books. So we're gonna go into that biography, we're gonna dive in, take a look, and uh, see what there is to find about Andy's past. Per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord links are in the description for both of those below. Uh, the Discord, uh, we talk about the, we talk about current shows, past shows, uh, current manga, past manga, and uh, we have non-anime non conversations as well. Uh, so feel free to check that out of your own will, and then the Patreon as well, you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions. So check out either of those of your own will. But now without further ado, it's up straight into Undead Unluck episode 21. Wow. <laughs> Actually, a relatively short recap today. I'm surprised. <laughs> e yeah, what do you mean you're, she's gonna go in? Well, I think he just knocked. I mean, cool, I guess, but where did this artifact come from? <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> Just turned into this little, this little Fuko ball. You'll find out. Yeah, what made Victor turn into Andy? That is a major question we've had since like the beginning of this series. Like, how did Victor split into two beings? Seems like we're getting to this arc right here, finally. The hell? Those are gunshots? Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? Are we back in like cowboy times? I mean, I guess, yeah, you go back a hundred years or even 200 years. You go pretty goddamn far back in time. Like, I didn't even really consider that idea. I'm normal 18. Don't touch me, okay? <laughs> oh my god. Well, hello, Andy. We are literally back in... What the f... He doesn't know that name right now. He doesn't know that name right now, Fuko. He does not... He has not gotten to the point in his life where he, where he knows what that name means. Oh. You from there. <laughs> yeah, and he's been able to speak Japanese since this era. Okay. Damn. So, realistically, if Undead and Luck is set in 2020, right? Then we're back in 1820 right now. Wow. That is crazy. If we've gone back to the beginning of Andy, then we're back in 1820. But then again, that would be... That would be taking into account the fact that we went back exactly 200 years because Andy is only 200 years old. Victor is thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years old, but Andy is only like 200 years old. So that would be taking into account if we went back to the beginning of Andy's lifespan, which we don't know. We don't know where exactly Fuko ended up in Andy's lifespan because this could be like 1860 for all we know. Andy could be 40 years old at this point. We have no idea. <laughs> He doesn't recognize you. Oh god. No way, right? Because if Undead is still around... No, somebody... At this point, somebody else would have Unluck, right? Right? At this point, somebody else would have Unluck. Fuko would not have Unluck at this point. Damn, okay, we gotta figure out how this time travel shit works in this world. This is like a whole new aspect that I gotta figure out as we go along. Oh, never mind. That was the unluck. I think it's clicked in Andy's head that she's a negator. <laughs> I, I love how they like don't, they don't acknowledge that her outfit looks totally different than literally anything else everybody's probably ever, any, anyone has ever worn during this era. 
But Andy has to realize that she is like him with an, a negator. So it does seem like a uh, unluck works. It's sorry, I'm pausing so much already, but there's already a lot to talk about. It seems like unluck works in the same kind of way as it did in uh, as it did like as it does currently. But it just like she like just lightly brushed her hair, and it, all it did was make a bird on her head. So not quite sure. Oh, <laughs> I know your future. <laughs> this girl seems like she might like Andy. But anyway, yeah, I wonder why she spoke in English there, because I guess, well, I guess the words are in English. The tattoos are in English on him. Yep, come on. Let's go eat that old Western food, baby. This is the town where Spoil was. This is 1000% the town where Spoil was. Absolutely. Yeah, there is no way you're gonna convince me otherwise that this is just some st typical, stereotypical, like, Western town. This is 1000% the town that we fought Spoil in. 1000% without a shadow of a doubt, this is that town. The captain taught me. <laughs> Is that apron also? I know the teacher was wearing an apron, right? And the, this is the town they fought spoil in and I feel like that is the same kind of apron the teacher was wearing. I might be wrong about that, but I feel like the teacher was wearing a similar apron or yeah, the teacher, that's what it was. Back in like way earlier episodes, the, the zombified teacher was wearing an apron just kind of similar to this one. How many drinks are they going through? Okay, yep, they're dead. And she's chilling, completely chilling. Now let's get some one on one to. Oh, never mind, never mind. The Civil War? The Civil War, huh? So this would be. Oh god, let me not f up my dates here. When did. The Civil War was the 1860s, it was like 1865. So this is at least, uh, I think the Civil War ended in the early 1870s, right? It might have ended a little bit earlier, but I think it was the early 1870s. Anyway, taking that into account, this is at least, like, later 1870s, 1880s. So, damn, we went back, what is that, 100? Hang on, let me do my math here. 140 years? Yeah, we went back about 140 years. So Andy's about 60 at this point. <laughs> Yep. Who knows who he is. So we didn't go back far enough, clearly. Oh, you're dead meat. How? <laughs> yeah. In the future, you're always naked. That's, that's not an exaggeration. It really isn't. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't think they seem to realize that Andy... Now he is immortal. Ah, yeah. Because he hasn't even... At this point, he's about 40. Because, yeah, at this point, he's... No. No, he, we're looking at, like... Oh, would it be 40? <laughs> um, Or would it be, like, 60 at this point? God, timelines. Uh, Man, I feel bad for people who haven't been keeping track of, like, timelines and stuff. Because this shit's going to make absolutely no goddamn sense. 2020. And he's ar around 200 years old at that point. So you take that back. You're looking at 1820. Uh, then, give or take. They said the Civil War. So it's been about 40 years since said Civil... Si since... No, it'd be about, he'd be about 50-60. If this is after post-Civil War, he's about, he's about 50-60 at this point. So here in a couple of years, he'll re start to realize that he's undead. Because he literally can't age. <laughs> Let me join your crew. She keeps calling him Andy, too. That's clearly not his name at this point. Okay. It's killing three birds with one stone. We're gonna play some Russian roulette and... Well, Fuko, I don't think you can die here realistically. If you die, you're just gonna leave. Your soul is just gonna go back to your actual body in the future, no? Well, there you go. Oh. My. God. Just took four shots. Damn. 
Wouldn't do that to a, to a non-fighter. I guess you're still the same Andy after all. Oh, he's bleeding. Whoa. Literally just bled from the little chip. <laughs> he's completely unreasonable. What the f just happened? What the f just happened? What the? All right, well, I think that takes us to the first time Andy realized he's undead. That's why Fuko was brought here. That is why Fuko was brought to this point in time, because it allows Fuko to see the first time that Andy realizes that he's undead. Oh my god. She got shot through the chest. He doing well? God damn, man. Whole gang just got destroyed here. Well... Yep, Andy's back alive. And he's going to kill them. Men seeing his terrible past. Melee attacks make more sense. God damn! My duty to witness each one with my own eyes. So I guess Fuka realistically can't age here either, because this is just her soul in here. Her body's still in the other world, or in the future. So maybe she's just gonna stay with Andy for 200 or 140 years, however long, into the future to see all his memories. Far too good for me. God damn. A rough start. So that's why she was so nervous and itchy, right? Because back in the saloon, she was like acting all nervous when giving them the beer and whatever it may be uh, to drink. She was acting all fidgety and I didn't really comment on it, but I definitely noticed it. Uh, I don't think Andy's gonna do anything here. He put the shovel down. Every year on this day. So it seemed like they just... Oh my god, Andy got a lot of bullets. I thought he just got shot in the head, but no, he got shot like everywhere. God damn. Interesting. Man, this whole thing is very interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure that's what it is. I'm dropping you off at a town nearby. Andy trying to get rid of her real quick. I wonder if this is actually... Oh my god, she traveled with him for a while. I have to wonder if this is like... I, I don't know if this is altering the past. I don't think it is, but I don't know. I don't know if we are actively altering the past or not. I really don't know. Like, I don't know if Fuko being here is like one of those time travel things where the person who goes to the past alters the past, or if her soul is just here to watch what happened because... She's clearly altering the past because Andy would have found out he was undead at that saloon scene no matter what when his crew gets killed. He would have found that out no matter what. Damn, uh, but then Fuko was there and uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if she's actively changing the past. <laughs> this is very interesting. Like I'd become a character in some sort of book. Yeah, when did Andy start cracking all the smiles? What, what time are we in now? God damn. This has got to be like Cold War era type stuff. With like the outfits they've got on. God damn, man. She is really staying here for all this time and she's not aging either. It doesn't look like clearly because this is just her soul. Hmm. Well, to be fair, we didn't get put at the beginning, which is annoying, which is already annoying. <laughs> oh, it's interesting how she's changed up her outfit here. Uh, anyway, um, it's like, I, I just feel like the place it stuck us at was very inopportune. I know it was the first time Andy found out that he was undead, but you know what would have been great? Taking us back to when Victor changed into Andy in the first place. That would have been awesome. That would have been so cool. But nah, I, I guess we'll, we'll find that out eventually. <laughs> Yep, there you go. So it seems like her unluck is very toned down in this reality. Don't let the captain feel ya. They got some new people in the crew, clearly. Oh, 
Wait, let me guess. Basically. Basically. <laughs> I can't stand in. That's a good question. Also, I take back my statement earlier about it being the Cold War. This is clearly still pretty early on. Like, it's still Western times. Not much time has passed since, uh, since his crew died. When people stop remembering you. I've always been in my heart. So they're not truly dead, essentially. Oh, the blood's pouring down again. No. Oh, there's a goddamn smile. And the blood goes away. <laughs> Washington, D.C. It's my oldest memory. Now that I've told you, you'll go there, right? Oh, my man went in for a kiss. <laughs> the one I love is you, but not you at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, you did. You did just say that you love him. Oh! She's going to that date, he said. Oh, this is so good. Damn. Damn, that actually got me a little bit. That got me a little bit. That was really good. And there's where Wicked Sick began. Damn, that was good. Oh man, that was so good. That might be, that is up there with episode 16. Was it 16? Or no, it was 17. I'd have to go back and look, but nine and 10. And then I think 16 and 17. And now this episode, oh man, this episode was so good. That was absolutely phenomenal in every aspect. Let's see if there's more just to be sure, but I think that's it. Oh no, there is more. 1865 Washington, D.C. Andy's earliest memory. You're at his earliest memory. Ooh, next episode should be good too. Man, they did that really well. I like how there was not a single flashback. I guess the whole episode is technically a flashback, but there wasn't a single flashback or anything except for that very short, like 30 second recap at the beginning of the episode. Other than that, it was all brand new content, which when Undead Unluck does that, which it did for most of the beginning of this series, it's just been a lot of recaps in the past couple episodes. When they do just like full content, new content episodes, you get phenomenal episodes like this. This was really good. This is one of the best of the entire series, if I had to, if I had to say. Uh, as, as a whole, this was really, really goddamn good. Whew, man, I was not expecting that to hit, but that hit me. That actually really, really hit me. That was good. They handled that amazingly at the end there. So Fuko spent a little bit of time in uh, in her Western age until Andy told her uh, his earliest memory, and then he went. She's now heading back there to Washington, D.C. in 1865. Oh my God, man! I don't even really know like. But if 1865 is his earliest memory, then he's not 200 years old. He's like 140, or no, he's 160. He'd be 160 at that point. So he's actually younger than they originally said he was. Because they said he was originally 200 years old, but I guess that might have been more of a, a rough estimate, if anything. Because 1865, yeah, no, that'd be, it'd be 160 years old. Is it 140? It actually might be 140. No, no, it's 160. Okay, that's enough of math. That's 160. He's actually 160 years old at this point, and so we're going to head back to the first day of his memories and see what's going on with Victor, uh, what caused Victor to turn into Andy, and where we're going to go from there. So I don't know, we don't know yet if Fuko being here is legitimately altering the past, because if that's the case, I have to wonder if it's one of those like paradox things where Fuko being here and doing this and telling him that he'll meet her at Shinjuku station is what led him to do that in the first place in the future. Like what if he already, it's one of those weird paradox situations where the only reason Fuko was saved from 
protect herself at that time is because Andy had previous knowledge of her from way back in the past that he kept and went to that station to save her. I wonder if it's one of those weird like paradox things where because uh, because she told him this, she lived in the future. Like she wouldn't have lived in the future because Andy wouldn't have known that she would have been there if she didn't tell him about this in the past, which I, did, there, I know there's a name for that kind of paradox, but I forget what it, what exactly the name is, but I wonder if one of the, it's one of those kind of situations, because to me it really seemed like Fuku was altering the past. Like it didn't seem like Fuku was just going in and analyzing Andy's memories. It felt like she was 1000% going in and like actually altering the past because he started saying wicked sick and he got a smile because of Fuku. Like I have to imagine in the past, if Fuku didn't step in and change Andy after his crew died, that Andy would not be the same Andy we know currently. I feel like he would have kept that down upset face and whatever it may be for all those hunt for that 160 years that he lived i don't know it's just one of those things where i don't where i think it's that paradox i think that's the only way that this situation makes any sense uh, is that the reason andy says sick and wick so or sick and wick <laughs> the reason andy says like sick and wicked sick is because it started here with Fuko and he carried that into the future when he first met her for the first time uh which first met her for the first time because he technically met her here in the past as well so I don't know there's a weird paradox going on there that I'm almost certain is actually the case uh but yeah phenomenal episode this they did this episode amazingly well they cut out the flashbacks cut out the recaps the recap was only 30 seconds at the beginning of the episode and other than that the episode was phenomenal I really don't have anything else to say the episode was really 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 goddamn good so i think that is gonna wrap it up for my reaction to undead and like episode 21 hope you guys did, did enjoy and i hope you all have a good day